What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. In the last episode we did some side stuff and mostly got our butt kicked throughout it, but this time around I just went to the time space delivery thing and it's interesting, we got two more Dragon Balls. And the thing is, is I have no idea like what merits us getting these. We have the two, three, four, five, six, seven Star Balls, which means that we only need the first Star Ball and then we have everything. So just one more to go before we can summon the mighty Shenron. And hello, hello, Captain Ginyu. I feel like right now, before we dilly-dally with anything else, we should head back into the main quest and see what other things we can do there. Uh, uh, another scroll. Demigra, he must have attempted to interfere with history again. He's trying to distort history so he can bore a hole through the crack of time. We have to do something. Oh, age 774, where are we now? Oh, here he is. Oh no, no, that's Piccolo. No Piccolo, anybody but Piccolo. Uh, uh. M mommy D darn it G what's happening oh boy oh here's super boo <laughs> what is he trying to destroy earth Uh-oh. Well, there goes Earth a lot earlier than it was supposed to be. The, the Earth! Demigra. I can't believe he had such strong power, despite being stuck in the crack of time. This is bad. Earth will be destroyed for sure. But Goku used instant transmission to get away. Well then... Demigra must also be in a hurry to escape from there. I have to do something. But before you do anything, do you remember the other time when Demigra interfered with history? Yes. Demigra was controlling Piccolo's mind. Supreme Kai of Time, how do we help Piccolo regain his sanity? Well, the only way to dispel the hypnosis is to deal out a hot, smoking blow to his face. Uh, I'm sorry, what? You have to beat him down bad. Ooh, this is something I can do. Uh, uh, are you serious? Gods don't lie, you know. <laughs> uh, okay. Demigra is unpredictable. It'll be very difficult. I'm sure of that. But I'm counting on you. So we have super evil Piccolo to fight? <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> and here we are. The hero to save the day. The true enemy hypnotized Piccolo. When conditioned to defeat Piccolo and Demigra. So is like Demigra like actually physical see physically seeable by the other characters because that didn't seem to be the case for the rest of the game you know like whenever these time jumpers would mess with you know time it really wouldn't like they wouldn't be able to see them. Piccolo turned all weird and stuff. It's because of that crazy old guy that's with him. Right. Then we just have to beat him up. All right, then we're teaming up with Kid Goten and Trunks. So it's pretty cool. These are, you know, characters that are pretty new to us. But overall, yeah, this is really awesome. <laughs> it looks like things are gonna get pretty darn tough from here on out too, because I, I can only imagine that Piccolo is really strong. And then we have to deal with Super Boo destroying the Earth. So yeah, like, this also messes with the timeline quite a bit because without Gotenks, there really is a lot of power missing from the, the Z team at this moment in time. Ouch, whoa, that's really cool how they can do that. Okay, I'm sort of blown away. This is really awesome. All right then, so we're doing okay with fighting Demigra right now. Demigra seems to be a pretty cool character. I like him better than Toa so far. Hey, hey, excuse me now. Ooh, ooh, oh, nope, I'm gonna miss. <laughs> it's been a few days since I last played, so I'm gonna be super duper rusty, but let's try to get the meteor crash on him and miss every shot. Okay, <laughs> good job, me. 
And then how's Piccolo doing way off that way? I don't know right now, and hopefully Goten or Trunks don't die. We just need to do a little bit more. We're about halfway there to beating uh, Demigra here, so we can do it. But it would be nice if Goten could help. Impressed. You are quite skilled. But defeating my Mirage isn't going to free Piccolo from my control. With my power, Piccolo's strength is far greater. Now, do you really think you can correct this change in history? Yeah, I do. But it, it is weird that like his Mirage is this powerful. Like We aren't having the hardest time in the world defeating him. But at the same time, this isn't by any means easy. So that's a little concerning as we hit up that Super Saiyan, help out Goten over here. And Trunks seems to be faring pretty well against Piccolo right now, which is a very good thing, because we actually need that so that he doesn't die in the mission ends. So yeah, I actually don't know where Trunks is right now, but I, I saw Piccolo down there, so I can only assume that he is too. All right, here is Piccolo, and Piccolo has very little of his health actually gone. So that is a bit of an issue, but with all three of us teaming up on him, shouldn't be that big of a deal as long as I actually hit my moves. <laughs> we seem to be knocking him around pretty good. Apparently he's much stronger now though. Piccolo is so cool, so it's always nice to see him in a position to power. It sort of stinks that he's um the bad guy at the moment, but even when he was a bad guy back in Dragon Ball, he sort of like was still one of the coolest characters. And that's sort of the interesting thing about Dragon Ball. Mostly, not really Dragon Ball Z too much, but definitely Dragon Ball. Every main enemy, Goku eventually turned into a friend. Like even Bulma, in a sense, was some type of enemy because he she tried to shoot his head <laughs> the first time we ran into him. But like, everybody he ran into, we eventually sort of charmed over and everybody originally was against him. While in Z, he just sort of has to destroy anybody in his way because they're too evil to even tempt. <laughs> So it's weird, there's definitely different feels to it. But it's like, who is your favorite friend who used to be an enemy? Of course mine is Tien, but Piccolo's another good one. Even Krillin was against Goku originally. He tried to trick him so that he could get Master Roshi's training. And like, who, who else? There was just like so many, you know, Piccolo, Yamcha, Tien, Krillin, they were all against Goku. But no, he's too good for him. He charmed them all over. <laughs> all right then, so let's, um. Ooh, there we go. The only person I can sort of think that wasn't originally against Goku is Chi Chi. Hey, Trunks, won't that person be Piccolo? What? Piccolo, come back to your senses, man! <laughs> Die! Piccolo, snap out of it! It's no use. I can't. Supreme Kai of Time said I have to hit them really hard. Okay then, so, I mean, I feel like, you know, we're pretty good when it comes to this right now until I get hit a bunch. Um, here, use that, there we go, now we're back in the running here. Now I, now I have to focus him down a lot in these next few hits because Goten and Trunks are getting a little low. If I can keep him distracted though with me, hopefully we won't run into anything bad. Like, every time that he attacks Goten or Trunks, we just gotta hop on him so that he doesn't diminish their health any more than there already are. But I mean, Goten and Trunks are really cool. Goten seems to be a really underrated character when it comes to the show because, you know, when I originally asked back on episode one, who was your favorite Dragon Ball character in general, a whole bunch of you said Goten. And it's so sad to see that in GT, Goten was sort of abused, and so was Trunks in a sense, but I mean, not as much. Because Goten had such the possibility of being an incredibly powerful character, but just was sort of not made that way. And now here's Piccolo down. Uh-oh, I think his evilness has gotten out of him. Where am I? Finish! Hooray! <laughs> we did it! So we're still in Kami's lookout, it looks like. Oh, oh no! No, 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 no! No, get out of here! You smell bad! We don't like your guy, dear! Ta-da! Majin Buu is here! That was, that was a quick and unexpected win conditions reduce Super Buu's health to a certain amount. I also noticed in the cutscene that Super Buu sort of has Kid Buu's voice more than anything, which is sort of a bummer if that still is the case here. Uh, he's not saying anything, so I'm not sure. I don't know if they weren't able to get his voice oh, no. actor. It's Majin Buu! You two. Hurry up and do fusion! Piccolo, don't overwork yourself! Leave the rest to us. Let's do it, Goten. Y yeah. All right. Well. Oh. 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 Okay. They're already doing it. Okay. Do something. <laughs> oh. There they are. Oh. They actually are fusioning. This is awesome. Fusion. Ha. Oh 
man, our fuse, first fusion of the game. Here comes Godanks. And here we are. Let's start fighting Super Boo again. Dun, 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 dun. Super success. Here I go, stupid Boo. All right then, so we're both banging on Boo now. This is awesome, and this is a really cool fight so far. I really miss Super Boo's voice actor. He has one of my favorite voices of the series. Just, I don't know, the emotion that's put in it in such a proper way. I don't know how to explain it, it's just such a cool voice. And I thought it was by the same, or the voice actor as Piccolo, so I'm confused why it's not here. But either way, it doesn't seem to be, as he hasn't had any actual real lines. And when he does talk, like he sort of has a super boo voice when he does his moves like that. But besides that, it's like when he was in that cutscene, he definitely had Kid Boo's voice. So that's sort of confusing. I wonder what happened with that. I'm not sure. I didn't make the game, so I can't tell you. Come on, let's blast him. There we go. And we can do that one more time. This boo doesn't seem to be too much of a hassle right now. I'm not sure if he's going to turn around really quickly, though. I mean, he could absorb any of us at any given time, which would actually make this much, much more difficult. Or he could be, you know, boosted up by Demigra. Demigra? Again? <laughs> he has a hard to pronounce name. All right, then. So we just got to keep beating him up now with Gotenks. Glasses. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, no, it missed out. That would have been awesome. Ah, uh, so hopefully we get Gotenks unlocked here. That would be fun as well. All right, then. Ooh, we're really tearing them up, too. Gotenks is making this a lot more easier. See, that is Super Boo's voice. Look, he's mad. Hey, Boo's trying to run away. After him. Oh, okay, there we go. We finished. All right, that was sort of unexpected. Endure it, Majin Buu's Barrage. When conditions reduce Majin Buu's health to a certain amount, lose conditions, player HP depleted, LA HP depleted. Okay then, so why are we down here now? He just ran away to here? All right, then the fight continues now with Piccolo. No, my fusion ran out. Well, what should we do, Trunks? I don't know. I think we need that weirdo to protect us. Wait, I'll go too. I've had enough. I don't know who you are but I'll return the favor. Okay then, we're not some weirdo trunks, <laughs> we're nice guys that try to help you out and you just wanna call us a weirdo. I mean, I guess I do have completely white skin and besides that I'm wearing an attire of black and purple. I mean, it's pretty easy for Tastic, but besides that, it is a little odd, I guess you could say. So I can't blame him too much. But let's hit him in the face with a Kamehameha. That'll work out pretty well. And so far, even still now, Boo isn't that bad. I'm waiting for him to absorb Gohan or even Gotenks and that's where it gets really difficult, but Yep, now we're just here in the wasteland, destroying them. So I'm super excited that we only have one more, um, you know, Dragon Ball to collect before we get Shenron. I really don't know what that's gonna be like in this game, like what you unlock for having all seven Dragon Balls. It's pretty interesting in some games. Um, I know for the Budokai 2 and 3, you would unlock like new moves, you would unlock new characters, you'd unlock a lot of cool new stuff. So I wonder like what you could possibly unlock here. Hopefully it's something worth it and not something sort of boring. Because <laughs> I would really like to see stuff. It would be cool if you could unlock like, new characters or cheat codes or something like that. Or maybe just new transformations. Or I don't know, even like, I would really like to see something like a new saga. I just like, I don't know, I like that kind of stuff where you really have to like dig into a game to enjoy all of it. All right then, oh wow, that, that hurt. All right then, stop that, that's very rude. I'm going to use my energy capsule. Thank you. <laughs> All right, then one thing that makes these, um, you know, missions easier is like these ones haven't been very long-winded. It's one fight and then it's a new, you know, chapter or section. That person is amazing. They're evenly matched with Boo. Well, I mean, we were fighting too. <laughs> yeah, but. What are you? No fun. No fun. This is good. Boo is starting to panic. In this timeline, Boo destroyed me. Oh, we got off drunks. Oh, whoa, oh, here's Gohan. Oh, Gohan's so cool as an adult, or at least in certain sections. He's so cool, but here we are. So glad I made it. Gohan! Gohan, that's great! You weren't dead! Are you really Gohan? <laughs> Don't tell me! You've come to fight! <laughs> no. I've come to ouch, kill you. ouch, 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 ouch! I didn't know it was going for me, I thought it was going for Gohan! All right then, so I need to use my medium energy capsule here. This is pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Okay then. So, oh gosh. Uh-oh, this is gonna hit me, it's gonna hurt, isn't it? 
Ah, okay, I'm gonna hit you though, and that's gonna hurt. <laughs> at this point, I might, like, Super Boo seems to be stepping up his game at this point. He's getting a little bit angry, so there we go. But now, now Super Boo's starting to talk a bit more, which I like. I really liked his lines and how he was as a character. Like, Super Boo was my favorite out of three Boos sometimes. Sometimes it was Majin Boo too, but I don't know. They're all just so cool. Boo make you pay. Huh? Uh oh, you blew up. No way. No way. He returned to his original form. This, this is all wrong. What? What are you? Whatever you are, I will still defeat you. Go on. That's right. It's not over yet. Listen, you gotta keep it up. Just keep fighting Boo. We still have a chance at stopping the change in history. We can't give up. So no absorptions. No, you know, time-space thing. I always forget what it's called. But the, you know, the time-space thing on the Kai Tower. It's, it's not that, or the... <laughs> I'm so bad with names today. It's not that though, we go straight to Kid Boo here on Earth. This is insane. Oh my gosh. All right, then we have a lot of work ahead of us. We need to destroy Kid Boo and use whatever we can to take him out because we don't have Goku or Vegeta on our side. Who even, you know, popped up before, um, you know, it even became, you know, Kid Boo. They tried to help, you know, stop him when he's Super Boo. So it's just like, oh my gosh, it's just way too much. Way too much indeed. Ow, stop it, stop it right now. And it's interesting because, you know, there's Vegito and then there's, um, what is it? Gogeta. And I think, is Gogeta even a canon character? I don't think Gogeta is. I think Gogeta only showed up in GT and then in the movies. But I think Vegito, um, the Potara rings, is what showed up during the actual series to fight Super Boo. From what I remember, maybe I'm getting it all mixed up because this was, I watched it last year though, so I should be able to remember. I guess I just have that bad of a memory. Okay, stop it right now, stop it right now. If I die here, this ain't gonna be fun. Here, yeah, yeah, that's that's it, that's it. Thank you, Gohan. <laughs> awesome, we actually did it too, okay, good job. Oh, and they're going at it, oh man. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen now? What? Is he trying to destroy Earth? <laughs> oh no! No! My precious planet! Oh, my zebra friends, they're gone! No! Oh, now I'm here. Hello, Super Boo, or Kid Boo, or whoever you are at this point. Attain the future grand battle. This happened really quickly, isn't me, or did this all just happen on a flick of a dime? I don't understand, this is all of a sudden, Kid Boo, Earth blown up, with Vegeta and Goto now. No context, Ooh. just beat him up. <laughs> I feel like it skipped a cutscene or something. Transmission, just like that? Whatever, we have to fight either way. I'll end things now. Yes, that was close. I was hoping that Father and Goku would arrive. Once Boo has been defeated here, history will be put back to normal. All right then, so this is the big battle. I mean, this is the final battle, the final big battle of Dragon Ball Z. So I'm, I'm getting really surprised here how fast that transition. Oh gosh, so. <laughs> But we do have Vegeta and Goku on our side here. So I can't imagine this is gonna be incredibly difficult. I don't know though. I mean, he seems to be getting beat up right now, but I feel like there's gonna be definitely several phases to this. There has to be. Well, let's hit this dude with everything we've got. If we can actually land it, there we go. Let's do a super duper Kamehameha just as Goku's doing. I wanna be just like Goku. He's just, <laughs> he's my father figure, man. My fa oh, 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 stop it, stop, stop. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm not doing my Kamehameha. I'll never live up to Goku. 
<laughs> All right then, so I don't know if there actually is a Super two Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3 power up in this game. That'd be really cool to see, but I'm not really sure to be honest with you. Also, it would be really cool if there was a Super Saiyan God power up, just you know, as we have the Super Saiyan 3. Of course, if we keep playing, I'll keep checking for it, but if you actually do know, feel free to let me know, because your comments are always super duper helpful. And ooh, I almost hit him with the Gamayamaha, but then he hit me. Okay then, so I'm actually, okay. So I do have my energy capsules back now, because it was a new phase. How many times have you had to save the Earth? Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? You should ready the Spirit Ball. The Namekian Dragon Balls can revive Earth units. Make them take responsibility for their actions. Okay. Dude, go go do it. Get that spirit bomb. Oh, is it just me and him? That's it. This is the end. You've got to fight Martian Blue with Father. People of Earth, listen to me. There is a warrior who is fighting Majin Buu at this very moment. But we need your help. Everyone join forces to defeat Majin Buu. Everyone, please. I need you to share as much of your energy as possible with me. Oh yeah, I remember this part of the series. It sort of frustrated me because of its harsh truth. I don't want to spoil it too much, but at the same time, it's like, if, you've, if you're if you watching this game, I'm guessing that you've already seen the series. If you haven't, I suggest you do, because it's really cool, but I mean, at this point, if you've been watching the series through, you've probably been spoiled on a good amount of just about everything. So, I guess it wouldn't be that bad to spoil it, but basically, you know, Goku needs to gather energy for this spirit bomb. Don't attack Goku! Get that, stop that right now! <laughs> Go to your room, young boo, <laughs> go to your room. But he has to gather energy for the spirit bomb, but how he's going to be able to do it now. need a lot more if we want to beat Boo. I know that. Problem is, no one is trusting me for some reason. Damn it, Earthlings. Hurry up and help. Why? Why isn't everyone listening? <laughs> All right then, so. Yeah, it's just like that though. It's like they wouldn't listen and give them their energy. Do those people have anything to lose? It's not like their planet just got blown up. <laughs> and it's like, it's not like they don't have a reason not to believe them. Like their planet just blow, blew up. So it's just like, I don't know. Come on, people, hurry and help! Are you all going to refuse me? Hurt you? I'm going to fight Muslim Boo now. Hurry and lend me your power! Hercule? Well, it can't be helped. This had to be said to gain their trust. You can do it! Almost there! And that's the thing, though. It's like, the only thing that saved everybody was the power of mm, trusting a celebrity more than common sense, you know? It's just like, I hate that, but at the same time, it sort of feels like a harsh truth. People will listen to like a celebrity more than a common sense, but we've actually been kid boo. More bright side things. You novice! We're going back to the basics. Wait, what? We failed? Oh did wait, did Vegeta die? Oh, I'm a dingus. I'm a major dingus. Alright, this is be becoming much more easier when I'm not trying to stall so that everybody can finish their voice lines and everything. So we're almost done with Majin Buu here, or, or with Kid Buu, or whatever you may want to call this little rascal. And there we go, finish for real this time. Ah, it's oh, here! Oh man! Whoa. Get away! Get away! Let's go! Take this! No! No! Damn it! Uh-oh. I just need a bit more time! It, it, it's ready! Oh, hey! Thanks! See ya, boo! <laughs> it's over. Took you long enough. <laughs> did you did you really do it? <laughs> People of Earth, Majin Buu 
has just died! Oh, Dad. Look at Hercules, they're all bright and... He was really amazing. <laughs> Next time, I will win. Well, good job, you two. <laughs> you did well, too. Who? Huh? Who is he talking what? to? Huh? Amazing! You're really amazing! You really defeated Majin Buu! But what's most scary is Demigra's ability to control people as strong as Buu. Supreme Kai of Time, who in the world is this Demigra? He's an evil sorcerer I fought 75 million years ago. <laughs> That's quite a long time. He called himself the Demon God and tried to take away Toki Toki and seize the Nest of Time. To create a world where he could rule history. A guy like him controlling space and time? That's awful. What did you do? I imprisoned him in the crack of time, but it seems like since then he's been biding his time, gathering his strength. His power? For 75 million years? Hey! You just thought about my age now, didn't you? That I must be more than 75 million years old? Huh? No, I didn't... What does it matter how old I am anyway? I mean, people praise me all the time for looking way younger than I actually am. Um, of course. So, what should we do? He's too dangerous. We can't let him get out. We need to thwart his evil plans, and keep him from escaping from the crack of time. It's up to us. We can't let this demon god do as he pleases. A little more. A little more. So there we go, oh my, things have been going on rather quickly, we very quickly went to Super Boo, destroyed him, went to Kid Boo and destroyed him, so a lot of cool stuff just happened in this episode alone. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it, and share it with your friends and family, because it truly helps grow the channel, and comment in the comment section below what do you think about today's episode and some of the crazy things we did. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.